What's up YouTube and welcome back to Not Quite Mint. Today we are covering our keys for the 4th of November 2020. Should we get into it, Rich? Yeah, let's uh, get into it, Tom. Welcome back, guys. What were you doing? <laughs> I was playing the drums. Oh, okay. Uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, thanks ever so much for coming along uh, for this, uh, obviously, uh, key sort of preview show for tomorrow's, um, obviously, new comic book day. Do make sure, if you are new to the channel, that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our content. There's one more thing you can do. Hit the uh, little dingy bell icon as well, and that will let you know when we are releasing new content so that you don't miss anything. Also, guys, smash that thumbs up down below. That's the best thing that you can do as a subscriber, as somebody who regularly watches our videos, obviously show your support. So do make sure you give us that thumbs up. Also, one thing that we're starting to ask every week is let us know in the comments uh, what you think is this week's key comic because we'll tell you what we think but we want to know what you think so let us know in the comments down below yeah absolutely and if you're not following us on any of the social media outlets please do we are very active on uh, twitter instagram and facebook and it gives you a chance to find out what's coming up on the show and what's going on over on notquitemint.com so yeah let's get into this then rich shall we so a couple of notables to to whiz on through this time round. <laughs> so we've got wolverine uh black red and white so it's just a, a, a four-part miniseries, and all them it's just a minimal colours. They're just doing everything in red, black, white. Yes, that's right. Yeah, red, yeah. black, and white. Black, yeah, well, they call it blood, but it yeah. is red. Yeah, it's, it's just like, red. Yeah, yeah it's red. <laughs> but there's that one. That one's out this week. Um, and I know nothing about this one as well. So I'm like, I've read the previews. I haven't bothered ordering it though because it's it's not really a massive of mass, massive interest to me, if I'm honest. I, I will be honest the same, mate. I think there's a lot of Wolverine books out there in the past, and there's been so many. I feel like Wolverine slightly saturates the market, so I never really pick up the Wolverine stuff. His ongoing series that's going on at the moment is okay. Um, so I'm not going to pick up yeah, another exactly. book. Yeah. Um, makes, it doesn't make a great deal of sense. Oh, well, it looks good, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. it looks quality. Um, also out this week, we've got the first issue of the Mighty Morphin uh, Power... Well, it's not. It's just Mighty Morphin from Boom Studios. Just Mighty Morphin. Yeah. Just Mighty Morphin. So this is the first issue. Um, there's a brand new Green Ranger. We don't know who it is yet, but the speculations are out there who it is. Um, if you want to pick up this cover, head over to notquitemint.com. Yeah, just check out. out this is uh, obviously available over on uh, Tom's website. So, again... Support old Tom because this is who's it now? Now this is uh, is this who is it by? What because it's really I can't I, I can't pronounce the name. It's not the guy like you Jungen Un or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you just put me massively on the spot because I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, but yeah, there's three different covers I think, isn't there as well? So it's um, it's a good one. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, and also this week we get Thor issue nine by Donny Cates. Um, where we get uh, Donald Blake's reintroduction, right? reintroduction, not reintroduction, reintroduction. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't seen him for quite some time, and he was the original host of Thor. Of Thor, which is just really bizarre. I don't, again, I don't know where it's going to go. The one thing that I have seen, again, from the previews from for, I think, the next issue, is that um, he's going to be uh, like a bad guy. Um, oh, okay, I'm interesting. He's going to come back, and he's not—he's not actually going to be good. Um, apparently, he's been off in this other, other, other realm, wherever he's been, and he's actually going to come back and be uh, sort of like the next kind of like bad guy to sort of like challenge Thor in the next arc. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm. Yeah, sounds good to me. Mm. I kind of like that idea. It's taking a good guy, turning him bad, and bringing him back. I like that. Yeah, it was in previews. I think it was like there's a there's an image of him in previews, and it's like he looks a bit like um, if you've seen Sting in the 1980s, like you know, <laughs> yeah. and he's got very blonde, spiky hair and very very dark, almost like leathery kind of uh, outfit on. It's uh, yeah, he looks quite menacing. To be fair, yeah, cool. Um, another one this week that, that's worth mentioning slash could have possibly been in our top five uh, is Origin. It's a new Boom Studios uh, um, 
book, ongoing book, and it's based on a thousand years in the future where the human race is, is gone extinct. And then this one single man is brought back to life uh, and he's given a second chance at giving life to the world and uh, bringing back mankind. So it sounds interesting, but it sounds a little bit like he's kind of being brought back to life and he's going to get screwed over. But who brought him back to life and why really did they bring him back to life? If mute, if like mankind is completely non-existent mm. anymore, what's that all about? And, and he need, and surely it takes two to tango. So how are you going to repopulate the earth? <laughs> Well, I hope they don't go into too much detail of how he's going to repopulate the Earth on his own. Um, depends, it depends what comic books you want to read there. Yeah, going exactly. different direction. yeah. Top shelf well, comic books right here. Yeah, it's Boom Studios at the end of the day, though, isn't it? And they're, they're always a fairly uh, like solid bet. They're a lot of like these independent number ones at the moment, they're, they're like so hard to get after they first come out. They're all getting numerous prints and uh, all the rest of it so keep your eye on this one yeah absolutely i have to make a slight announcement i suppose best way to do it but i am a self-proclaimed marvel whore so like i love marvel more than i think in the whole world but really this year i think boom studios is overtaking marvel for me they have come out with so many good uh, like things image are really good this year the independence have full on changed me this year. I have to be honest. I I, I, I actually want to know what 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 makes you different from a, a Marvel fan into a Marvel whore. What does that well, imply that you're prepared to do for Marvel? I'm just a bit just going to leave that there, mate. Yeah, I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> let, let us know in the comments down below what where, how far would Tom go for Marvel? Because not very far, because. He's sold out and he loves the indies now, don't you? Let's, yes, let's sold out, out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so top five. We'll start at one we've already mentioned previously in one of our shows, um, but it does actually come out tomorrow, the 4th of, our, uh, 4th of November 2020, <laughs> and that is uh, Web of Venom, Empire's End, which is a one-shot uh, about Null and kind of like a lead-in to the King in Black, I believe, Rich. I'm right. Yeah, again, it's one of those ones. Not very much has came out with this one. Um, it was pinned on to the end of uh, Empire, uh, and then Empire's finished, what is it, nearly, like, is it a month ago, like just over a month ago? Uh, Empire was a real disappointment, so I don't know whether or not Marvel was sort of like thinking, oh, crap, we've got this linking event that, that was going to link Empire to the King in Black, do we really want to associate this Empire's End with Empire, which wasn't very well received? Is it going to put dampeners on uh, King in Black? Because that's going to last for like three months. Massive event. And uh, obviously, you know, it's all pinning on the success of Null. So I don't know whether they decided to push the date closer to the start of uh, King in Black rather than have it finish off Empire, if that makes sense. Yeah. The only thing I can think. Yeah, I think you're right, mate. I think they they just delayed it so it wasn't associated with the, the terrible, 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 terrible event that Empire was. Yeah. The other thing is, is obviously that we had the other web of Venom, which was Wraith, uh, web of Venom Wraith, and uh, that was that was really, really quite good. Mm. But again, it felt a little bit badly timed. So I don't know whether this one's going to follow on. From uh, that that right one shot, uh, you never know, mate. Get this, uh, get this light thing that's going on. Yeah, this kind of like uh, the opposite of noise. Who this light? It, yeah, the god of light or whatever it is. Yeah, like uh, the Sentry or or um, the Phoenix. That's what the speculations are so at the moment, isn't it? Mm, we'll see. Right then, at number four, we're thinking that Tales of the Dark Multiverse, Batman Hush, is probably your next best bait because it's the first uh, appearance of Batman: The Silenced, mm. uh, and it is basically if uh, it's like a what if uh, Tom Elliot had ruined Bruce Wayne's life um, when they were children, sort of thing. So it's a bit like a, a Marvel what if kind of thing, but it's a DC job. Yeah, set in the Dark Multiverse, obviously. Me and Tar fans of the whole Hush uh, sort of series. Yeah, and, um, Hush is great. Yeah, you spoke about it 
quite when I say recently, a couple of months ago, didn't you? Because you'd reread it, and it was uh, one of the ones that I think you did. You read it on lock, in lockdown, and yeah, we when we did our we did a key show, which then we spotlighted Batman, and that was one of my Batman choices. Mm. So it's one of those, definitely one of those ones that we I think both me and Tom will be picking up and reading. So uh, it does sound interesting. You got back first appearance of Batman: The Silence, so you know, pretty decent book to to keep an eye on. Yeah, definitely. And I think the Batman bad guys at the moment are so hot when they come out, they tend to stick around. So it is one worth getting for a bit of a rainy day if you're just on the spec hype. Um, yeah. Definitely worth one getting. Yeah, we've got a lot coming out of the Dark Multiverse as well, obviously off the back of Death Metal and what's happening with, with all of that as well. So there's nothing to say that this the silence guy might might pop up uh, as, a, as a villain in the main continuity. So, yeah, you know. absolutely. And while we're on the Batman subject, next one up is Batman 101, where we finally get the first full appearance of okay. the Ghost 102. Sorry, mate. I've got it written down as 101. It's 102. Mm -hmm. You are right. Um, yeah, so it's the first full appearance of Ghostmaker, which is pretty cool. We've had a cameo yeah. appearance. Yeah, we've had this. We had uh, 101 uh, this, well, this, this week just gone, haven't we? So it's sort of like a bit of a... Um, this one's a bit of a funny one because uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of building up to this. I think we're going to be. I think Ghostmaker's being billed as being somebody from uh, Batman's past, like when they were like teenagers and yeah. all the rest of it. So I think they had like. I think it was one of those things that they both had the same kind of like trainer, but then gone different paths. But we know obviously Batman is on this kind of like reinventing himself because he's not going to have all the billions of Wayne Enterprises behind him and stuff like that. So we're going to, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see how these guys interact. Yeah, definitely. And especially because we've never really had much of an inkling of what happened in Bruce Wayne's teenage years because it normally goes him as a child, his mother and father getting killed. He then goes off and then he comes back as a, as a badass to take down everyone as Batman. So you never really get that in between -y bit. So it's going to be quite nice to get that new take on that in between -y bit, what happened to him, how he became as good as he is, who is Ghostmaker. You know, what I really don't want them to do is what they did with Virus and turn Ghostmaker into someone you've already seen. I'd rather he be like a brand spanking new character that nobody knows of yet. Only Bruce knows who he is. I think that would be quite cool. 100%. And you know, you know you're, you're going to be really happy with this one as well because, because we're going into the past. We can't get away from Alfred. Alfred's going to be a younger man. Yes. So he's going to be back. alive for a little while longer. Resurrected from Batman 102 going forward into the future. So, They'll yeah, bring him good. back somehow, for sure. No one ever dies forever. Time travel. Absolutely. Time well, travel. The, the Joker brought him back and his neck was hanging off. So, yeah, uh, that's horrid. Horrible. So I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. Maybe clone him. Yeah, clone him. Um, so, yeah, after that, you know, Alfred's and Snap's neck and all that. Uh, let's talk about something jolly. So, um, basically, the next one up is Captain Marvel, uh, issue 23, and we get two first appearances in this one. We get the first appearance of Namor's son, Ove, uh, and uh, appearance of uh, Birdger, or, Br B yeah, Br 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 Bridgrid. Br Br I don't know how you say it. B-R-I-G-I-D. Yeah, Brigid. Go, Brigid. Brigid. There you go. So, yeah, and this is a really good run. I, 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 Captain Marvel is another one of the ones I'm picking up every month that's been uh, quite a good read. I think uh, Kelly Thompson's doing wonderful things with it. Yeah, it's an interesting one. I mean, I, I, I haven't been reading it, but I know that I've been picking up uh, some of the issues uh, with, with them being obviously like uh, key first appearances because they seem to be bashing them out in this Captain Marvel series at the moment it's really interesting i find that they're talking about uh namor being obviously introduced in this story because there are there is going to be as part of the king in black uh times uh there's going to be a namor uh an or a name or sorry uh five part uh sort of mini that's yeah. going to form part of the king in black times so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see if that's why you know if that's going to lead into this and they're setting that all up as well yeah definitely because because there's a lot of crossover books with namor isn't there with because right. the they've met before 
So that's going to be quite cool to, to get that backstory. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. But yeah, first appearances again. So don't miss out. Yeah, definitely. So that leaves us with our number one pick this week. And we think you should go out and get Donny Cates' crossover. Because this, hopefully, is going to be as, emo as amazing as all his other independent stuff. So far, that this man can't do any wrong in my eyes. I think this is going to be great. And I'm pretty sure it's the same creative team that brought us the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So hopefully going to be really good. Um, Rich, I have only read a little bit about what the synopsis of this is. So I get the idea that if you imagine kind of like superheroes being in real life or like the books actually coming to life, is that right? Am I, am I on the right yeah, track? Yeah, basically from what, um, from what I've, I've, I've sort of picked up a little bit is um, that it's it's the concept that something happens that means that the superheroes that are in the comic books obviously cross cross over the page into real life so right. i don't know quite how that's going to happen and i've read obviously there's been the solicitations come out for crossover part two and so on and so forth so in those it talks about like um that like the 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 two main characters like surviving some kind of a an explosion of some sort so again i don't want to potentially ruin the first issue or whatever but i think it's like if you look at some of the variants on this there's like uh variants where it's like people are opening comic books and they're literally having like the pages almost like blast their faces off mm -hmm. so i don't know if that's like an actual thing that's happening um and people are actually getting the faces blown off by the comic books or what and then you know all the characters are coming to life from there i'm not totally sure but yeah it's it it's really intriguing it's going to be massive because it's donny kate's um i know you've got this cover over on on uh the not quite mint website so uh do go and obviously check out check that out and support old uh tommy's uh tommy's little venture over there but uh this one's done but drawn by megan hutchinson as well isn't it right, so, yeah and it's a, a x-men uncanny x-men 141 homage mm. Cool. So very yeah. very cool am i right in thinking that there's a bit of speculation spec speculation around crossover they that donny cates may have crossed over marvel dc and image within this book i think there was some kind of speculation at the start but i'm not 100 percent certain that anybody's confirmed that that's actually going to happen yeah. i think it's going to be more it's going to be more it, it would it's definitely i think more of a crossover of the image characters as opposed to marvel and uh marvel and dc and i think the reason why people have been speculating that was that i think it was thor issue two yeah. uh, where you the start of that obviously there was this universe that was destroyed and in that it was clear that kate's was referring to dc universe um characters um but uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's just like you know we may or maybe I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, but I think I, don't, I haven't heard anything to say definitely if that makes sense. So yeah, yeah. Either way, it's going to be awesome. So. Well, that brings us to the end of the keys, guys. Uh, definitely check out everything we've mentioned. Like Rich said. If you could leave a comment below and tell us what you think your key of the week is uh, this week, we'd be very much very interested in it. Come back and see us next week because we'll be doing another key uh, uh, shout out for, I can't remember what the date is, but we will be doing a key for that new comic book day. Come back and see us on Thursday where we'll be doing another roundup of the uh, Ex of Swords um, event review thing. So we'll be reviewing the Ex of Swords, how far we've got in, what's going on and all that. Um, yeah, so that just leaves me to let Rich do his bit. Yeah, so again, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Hopefully you find those keys useful and you get to pick up some of them, uh, obviously, when you go to the comic shop tomorrow. Uh, do make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the little notifications bell and uh, obviously so you don't miss any of our content. And uh, give us the uh, the big thumbs up down below because that's the best way you can support our channel. Um, but, yeah, till next time, guys, just uh, take care. Stay safe. Stay sexy. See ya!